Hi, I'm Miss Susan from the Milner County Public Library, and this is summer 2021 summer reading. I'm so excited. We've waited so long for this and planned. I'm going to give you a few ideas of some things that you're going to come across this summer. We're doing virtual again this year, but that's okay because we have a lot more planned. You will be able to get your registration folder if you haven't already in your first kit. If you've signed up at the library, then you got it when you signed up. If you signed up online, you could just swing by and pick it up there. But now the kits are going out, so I've got them with the kits so you can get them when you get your kit for the first week. When you open your folder, there will be an information sheet. The information sheet will remind you of the pickup site so that you won't forget where it is. Wherever you signed up when you registered, that's where you need to go to pick it up. If it's a special site other than the library, there are certain days and times to be there. Be sure and check those before you go. It also has on there the calendar of what we're talking about each week. This week is farm animals. Gives you a few things there. Reading logs. You will get a May reading log in your folder. If you've not used it already, that's okay. You can toss it or just play with it. You will have one in there for June. And what you'll do is you'll color an animal in for every day you read. And then when you get done with a book on the back, if you'll just put a tally mark on what kind of book it was, whether it was a picture book, a chapter book, graphic novel, or if you're a teen and it's a young adult book. You will also get a bingo sheet. Now these are available online just like our registration, but if you don't do it online, you'll have a paper copy in your folder. So you can do this for fun, gives you some ideas of things to do this summer. You will also get an animal zoo yoga. So you can practice some yoga exercises at home and it will be animal themed just like our theme for summer reading. Now one other thing that you also get you want to be a, pay attention to is we are partnering with the Humane Society here in Muhlenberg County and they have a wish list for their animals. So you have a paper that tells you some of the things that they would like on their wish list. Now you can donate these at either library throughout the month of June. You can drop them off at the library and we'll make sure that they get them there. Now on the other side of your folder there will be all kinds of activity sheets. There will be some for younger kids, some for older kids, all kinds of fun things to do. If you got your registration folder early, you may have already done all these. And if not, when you get them with your craft kit, then you will have something new and fun to do. Now, let's see, let's read a book. Because this week is farm animals, we're gonna read one called Click Clack Goodnight. This book is by Doreen Cronin and Betsy Lewin. This is with permission from Simon & Schuster. This is one of our newer books that we've gotten at the library. Cows and animals with the farmer. It is nighttime on the farm. Everyone is tired. It is time to relax, unwind, and unplug. The cows are ready for bed. Farmer Brown pats their heads and turns out the cow light. Cows in the dark sound asleep. The sheep are ready for bed. Farmer Brown brushes out their tangles and turns out the sheep light. Sheep in the dark sound asleep. The chickens are ready for bed. Farmer Brown covers them with a blanket and turns on the chicken light. The chickens are nearly in the dark sound asleep. Duck is not quite ready for bed. Farmer Brown sings him a song, reads him a book, turns on the white noise machine and puts on a shadow puppet show. But Duck is wide awake. Oh no. Farmer Brown practices downward facing dog with him, discusses the day's top news stories debates the day's top news stories, and turns out the duck light. Hmm. Will duck go to sleep? Farmer Brown in the dark, sound asleep. Duck in the dark, wide awake. Oh no. Duck tries to sleep like a cow, but it's too crowded. Duck tries to sleep like the sheep, but it's too soft. Oh no. Duck tries to sleep like a chicken, 
But it's too bright. Duck finds a soft spot under the maple tree. No cows, no sheep, no chickens. It's not too soft. It's not too crowded. The moonlight is just right. Duck closes his eyes. <sighs> chit chat chitter, chit chat chitter, chit chat chitter. <gasps> the bats in the trees are wide awake. There goes Duck. Duck finds a spot by the pond. No cows, no sheep, no chickens, no bats. It is not too soft. It is not too crowded. It, there is no chit chat chittering. The moonlight is just right. Duck closes its eyes. The frogs in the pond are wide awake. Duck knows a new spot. No cows, no sheep, no chickens, no bats, no frogs. Duck also knows where Farmer Brown keeps the hot sauce, the sliced cheese, and the whole wheat bread. Hmm. His stomach is full. The mattress is firm. The book is just right. Farmer Brown's pajamas are soft? The moonlight shines in through the window. Duck closes his eyes. Duck in the dark, sound asleep. I think Duck found a nice soft place, a quiet place to go to sleep. I'm not sure Farmer Brown is going to get much sleep tonight. Hmm, the end. Now what about if you had animal teeth? We're talking about animals this month for our summer reading. If you had animal teeth is one of the books we're going to be giving away this summer. Let's take a peek inside. Oh, what if you had elephant teeth? They're called tusks and they can get very long and they're very strong. The world record is 11 feet long. That's super long for teeth. Elephants are right tusk or left tusk, just like we're right-handed or left-handed. That's pretty cool to know. If you had elephant tusk, your teeth would be super strong. You could lift the bed in your bedroom, or maybe even the family car if there was a flat tire. That might be a big thing to have if you ever wanted to do something really, really strong to be able to lift things up with your teeth. Oh my. We've got a few of these books we're going to be giving away this summer. Now, let's see, how about kits? Because these kits are going to be going home every week for the month of June. So depending on what age you are, you might get a farm scene, which will start out with just a grassy, sunny day. And then you will have a little bag with other animals and maybe a farmer, a tractor, a barn, and you can arrange it any way you would like to make your own farm scene. That would be something fun to do. Now, some of you will also get a little kit, um, which is a magnet. And it will, could be any kind of farm animal, any kind of animal, and you will just stick them together and put a magnet on it. This one is for a windsock. You might want to make a pig windsock. This is something you could make even extra from home if you want, because it's just a toilet paper roll. And then it's just some paper. I've got pink paper, a couple different shades. This one, all you do is you would glue around the toilet paper roll your piece of paper. Now before I glued, I went ahead and tied my strings into the holes in here just to make my holder first. And then I glued my paper around, make sure it dries really good. While it's drying, you can assemble your pig head. You could put the little nose for his nostrils and you can make him some eyes. They might have eyelashes or other pretty little features to them. And then you'll have strips of paper. All I did was fold them back and forth, back and forth. 
and then when I got them all the way folded, let them go, and they spring like an accordion. I took some tape, and I taped them in, on the inside, and then of course you would glue your pig head on there, or tape it, whichever you have, and then you can hang up your windsock, and it can blow. Also, if you're a little bit older, you may not get one of these. We have, for the older kids, an animal jar lantern. Now this right here was a fox. We also have the material to make owls, so you could end up with either one of them. And what I did was, you'll get some tissue paper. I cut the first piece in strips and sort of wrapped it around to put a base coat on it. So I glued on half, and then I glued the other half so they dry really good. There's a second piece of paper in here that I cut into squares to give it a little definition so it looks like it's a little fur sticking out here and there. So then I went around and I glued squares all the way around. And while that's drying, I took the face, now whether it's an owl or whether it's the fox, and I glued the little pieces on and the ears at the top and had this ready so when the jar was good and dry, then all I had to do was to glue the fox face on. And don't forget the bushy tail. You'll need to glue the little white at the end for the fluff at the back, and you can either tape or glue this on. I ended up taping this one just because I wasn't quite sure if the glue would hold for that little strip that I folded there. So whatever works for you, and to make it into a lantern, you will also receive a battery operated little tea light. Be sure you turn it on from the bottom. When you're done with it, turn it off. I'm gonna slip it down in here, get the directions out, and it will just sit in there, and then you'll have your own animal lantern. And the directions will also be in there for you. And if you are a teen, you will probably get a birdhouse. We'll include the paint and brushes so you can paint your birdhouse. You'll assemble it first, it'll come in a package. You'll assemble it and you'll paint it. You can paint it before you assemble it, however you prefer. It's got a little hanger so you can hang it. And if you wanted to put some bird seed or something to attract birds around your house, you could do that for this summer and have your own birdhouse. I think that's just about all for now. Be sure and watch our social media um, all month of June. We're gonna have some special videos uh, that will be put in throughout the week. I'll be back next Monday and we'll have more stories and kits to show you. Next week will be Zoo Animal Week. And if you haven't registered yet, don't feel bad. You can still sign up online and get registered. We're checking that daily. You can come into the library, either one, Central City or Harbor Memorial. You can get signed up and get your registration kit and we will get you started. If you have any questions, be sure and call the library. It's 338-4760. Thank you for watching. Have a great week. Bye.